Hi everyone, um, so just a quick update today on this um, Hutton Hunslet build in 16mm scale. Um, I haven't done anything with the model since the last video, um, but I wanted to point out um, a couple of little things that's happened or I've noticed uh, since then. So firstly, we talked last time about these side panels, um, and I specifically said um, I wasn't sure whether I was going to use the printed uh, versions or not. They were quite nice, but I wasn't sure how... Um, Kind of stable or reliable they would be long term um, partly because of how thin they are and um, you should probably be able to see this I think in the video here um, you can see this is the one that was actually I've left it sat on the loco and it's been not in full sunlight but it's had sunlight on it and it's obviously it's curled slightly um, this is just I think due to the the continuing to kind of cure slightly after it's been printed and also the fact it's so thin so it's curled away at the bottom uh, which means it no longer kind of fits properly on the look. I mean, I can bend it, I can flex it back, but it's not going to stay. Um, the one I printed and didn't use has stayed reasonably flat, but it was sat, it it was sat flat on a surface and hasn't been used. So I'm guessing that over time that one would um, bend as well. Um, so um, I'm going to have to um, make those out of some other material. Um, normally I'd use um, brass um, for this. Um, but I've actually ordered some aluminium sheet, um, partly because um, to I wanted also sheet metal for this piece that goes over here, um, and the thicknesses I need essentially are kind of a half mil sheet for for these side panels and a millimeter thick sheet um, for this piece. Now, um, as I say, normally I'd buy I'd buy brass for this. Um, I've used brass sheet in the past for for parts. Um, but looking at the prices, the brass sheet, especially for the millimetre thick one, was ridiculously expensive. Um, but I picked up some um, aluminium sheet of the thicknesses I was interested in for about a quarter of the price of the brass sheets uh, and bigger pieces as well. So, um, yeah, I've not really um, worked with aluminium before, but I can't see it being a huge problem. So I'm going to have to cut some, cut some pieces and um, see how that goes. I'm a bit worried having kind of played with the one the one millimeter thick sheet how I'm going to actually get this to to curve here um, I don't know whether it's because it's aluminium versus brass whether it's just slightly more slightly stronger um, we'll have to see um, the other option obviously would be to change this part so I don't need it quite so thick um, but at this end the metal is essentially hanging in mid-air and is meant to be kind of sheet metal so the, the thickness is is guided by how thick I want it um, there really rather than than anything else so we'll have to see how that goes um, but that's that's the kind of next thing I'm gonna do is, is try and replace uh, these side panels with some with some sheet sheet metal um, and see how that goes but I also spotted a slight design flaw which I think is actually present in the original four millimeter model as well I just not noticed it before um, and only becomes apparent because of the scaling up of the model uh, essentially uh, we know from this top piece that the radiator at the front is slightly wider than the control panel at the back because the cutout has thicker a thicker lip at this end than it does at the front, which means this bit must be narrower than this bit where they where they kind of um, slot in, um, and that's obviously because. I want to put the metal overlay on here and when I put the metal overlay on the top I want it to come up to essentially the same level. Um, that's all well and good but it means that when you put the side um, panels on here they're designed to be flush. Um, if I can get this to, let's say it's all not glued together so let me just balance it. Um, they're designed when they're on to be flush against this seam here um, which is fine but because the back one's narrower um, they actually it doesn't fit I mean it's, it's a bit difficult to sell because as I say this thing's warped now but you might be able to see there's a gap under here you can actually see the light through there if I hold it right um, and that's because this piece is about half a millimeter I think too far in compared with the front uh, which means this panel doesn't fit um, um, so I'm gonna have to add a, a lip I think to this to this piece I don't want to change the top obviously because I want to be able to add the metal curl it over um, so I think I'm just going to add a little piece a little strip down this side and a similar thing on this side a tiny little strip of, of print on the print 
on this edge here just to just to even these up um, and let's see if, if I look very closely at the four millimeter version um, then again you can kind of see on the, on the on the actual model that this panel is ever so slightly twisted uh, when it's been glued in place and that's because it's pushed back by a tiny tiny amount um, on that side so um, yeah it's a slight slight design flaw that I never noticed on the original um, that I will obviously have to correct on this one because it's a it's a much bigger difference uh, and it, it means that these things don't sit right it's not too much of a problem because of the magnets holding everything in place um, but I will I will do something to to rectify that so yeah so next up I will be cutting some aluminium and then we'll see how they how the aluminium side panels fit at least I'm not sure if I'll get to this this piece yet but we'll, we'll do the side panels for the and see how we go Right, so a little uh, metal work later and I have a side panel made from aluminium sheet um, and it fits really, really nicely. Um, it was done literally just using the printed um, template um, that I had um, as a guide. So I cut a, a strip of aluminium off the sheet, so I've got this kind of thing. Um, and then cut a piece off the end that was the right size. Again, used the template then to um, Drilled two holes uh, and then I fitted um, the, the bar across the back with the magnets um, just kind of roughly in place I just did it by mostly by eye this time last time I used a couple of pins uh, metal rods to, to, to position the, the bar and the plate together this time I just did it by eye because I can you can just line them up with the, the light shining through the holes um, and yeah it's, um, it's it's all gone together really nicely as I say it fits fits perfectly in here um, shouldn't be any um, holding this thing together while it's not glued is difficult but shouldn't be any issues with it bending um, certainly not from you know being in the sunlight or anything stupid or just warping because it's thin uh, the metal itself um, nice and nice and nice and solid um, so yeah I think that works so um, that's uh, that's another item ticked off the list um, have to work out how I'm gonna if I'm gonna do the central section as a as an as a as a separate kind of cut out and mesh that would be slightly more tricky. Um, I have to drill some holes and then cut with a with a saw I would think to to do that. But for now at least I've got solid ones. Um, as I say I haven't had just done this so this is the this is the half uh, mil thickness aluminium. Um, it was reasonably easy to cut. I uh, just used a, a craft knife to. Um, with a ruler and, and just scored scored the edges where I wanted to, to cut and then just kept on going with the craft knife uh, wasn't too many passes and it was then weak enough just to, to snap um, I think the millimetre thick sheet will be a bit more of an issue um, being twice as thick obviously it'll take a bit longer but um, should be able to get through it in the same way I don't have any obvious tools for cutting it um, I mean I could just use a, a saw but getting a nice straight edge is going to be is going to be tricky um, so I think the ruler and a, a craft knife um, is the best for now, unless anybody can leave a sensible suggestion for kind of how I might do it with with ha the hand tools that I have. I don't have a, I don't have any um, mechanical saws. I don't have a table saw or anything like that. So uh, I think by hand is probably the the way to go. Uh, but this has come out nice and square, um, so I'm not too worried. As I say, the 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 shape for the um, the one millimeter thick piece is a bit more complicated, but again, cutting this out, I can cut out kind of a rectangle, cut most of this shape again with with straight edges, and then just nicely kind of round the corners. Shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, be a bit more complicated, but um, should be able to get something. So that's the that's the plan for that. Uh, but as I say, for now at least, I've got um, I've got side panels sorted. Um, aluminium seems the way to go uh, much cheaper than the the brass sheet I could get and um, has given me a nice nice side panel um, hopefully shouldn't have any issues with priming and um, and painting that either so there we go sorted and as I say it still still fits nicely in place with the magnets um, and looks the part so there we go oh, oh, oh yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna claim that's done for now <laughs> 